BioColor is one of the only water-based paints that sticks to slick surfaces. And you'll have lots of fun painting on foils, plastic, glass, mirrors, and anything that shines. Here, I've taken a cardboard frame and covered it with aluminum foil. First, I'll start by sponge painting some BioColor paint directly onto the foil. Then, I'll take my Nancy bottles, available at Discount School Supply, and do some color dots along the side. Mary, can I help you with the dots? Sure, that sounds great. This is so much fun. <laughs> Nancy bottles are soft plastic bottles with twist tops. They're perfect for this kind of exercise. And here is an example of a finished product once it's dried. Yamona, what do you say we do some tissue foil shine? I think that sounds like a great idea. Terrific. Let's start with this aluminum tray. First, what we'll do is take some plain BioColor paint and we'll dilute it with just a little bit of water. We'll stir it up. You want to get your brush in too for me. Okay. And now we're going to add a thin layer of BioColor to the tray. Next, we can add some collage materials. I've got some cut up pieces of printed tissue paper. Here's a few more pieces. You want to help me cover? I'm going to add the pink, Mary. Okay, I've got some stars. You could also actually add some photos to this as well. Our next step is to take more of our BioColor and water mixture and just glaze it over the top, sort of decoupaging down the tissue paper. I've also got an example of another finished product. That looks great. Let's try to make some glittery wax painting. That what do you say? That sounds like a great idea, Mary. All right, well the first thing we do is we take a piece of wax paper and we place it down directly on the table. Next what we'll do is we'll take our BioColor bottles, or BioColor from our Nancy bottles, and just squeeze it directly onto the wax paper any way you want there. That looks great. Should we try adding some medium? Let's add some Make a Glitter Medium to the top of this. That sounds like a great idea. I like the Make It Glitter Medium. It's super fun and it's available in Discount School Supply and in the Complete BioColor Kit. Our last step is we add another sheet of wax paper to the top. Now this is the real fun part. We get to put our fingers down and squish the paint around. You can actually see the paint through the wax paper. I love the way that this is moving around, Mary. It feels neat on your fingers. It's a nice sensory activity. Then when you're finished and the edges are trimmed, you have this that can be hung in any window. And when the light shines through, you can really see the glittery shine. Mary, those activities were all so fun. I really enjoyed doing them. Another activity that everyone's going to love is CD cover painting. Great, how does it work? We take a CD cover and we squeeze paint from our Nancy bottles. Watch. Oh, directly onto the surface. Can I try? While ordinary tempera paints beat up, BioColor stays right where you apply it. Here's one that's finished, Mary. Oh, it looks fantastic. As you can see, BioColor doesn't beat up. No matter what age of children you work with, you can enjoy painting on windows and mirrors in your classroom with BioColor paint and brushes. Paint seasonal themes on windows, make hand prints, or blotter art prints. And when it's time to take them down, simply roll off the paint with your fingers. Allowing children to paint on different surfaces provides a great alternative to paper for creative expression. And using the paint on windows and clear surfaces also helps children to build awareness of light and color.